All right, so today I'm gonna do a job that I do uh, exactly twice a year. Uh, I'm out back here with our uh, manure spreader rig. Um, we have a Case 7250 here. It's kind of a beast and 5,500 gallon tank. After each season, I like to get it washed up, get things looking a little more presentable. Uh, let's get it. So I got the thing all cleaned up. Uh, we pulled the manure pump out of the pit over here and I got that washed up. So uh, they're looking pretty good. So this here's the pipe that the manure flows through when spreading. Uh, there's a little crack right here. If you can see, we had already welded it before but a new crack formed there. So I just wanna throw a weld on there before I uh, park this thing for the winter. So I got a weld over that crack. Um, yeah, as you can see, it doesn't look too great. I'm not that great a welder, um, especially when uh, you're welding on a vertical surface. So that's uh, just the way it is. I think it's gonna work. Yeah, so we haul about 400 loads a year or so. Um, wait, hold on. Do you hear something? It's coming from in here. It's like a weasel or something.
So I got the uh, manure pump here in the shop. I'm uh, just going to paint some waste oil on the surface rust, uh, see if we can stop that this winter. Nice knowing I have a solid career as an artist in my back pocket. So that's about it for winterizing and manure equipment. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I uh, will see you guys in the next video.